في قسم الطالبات لازلنا في جناح اف 14 وعندنا هذا المشروع ومعانا الطالبة المبدعة السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أنا جوري زهراني من إدارة تعليم مكة في الصف الثاني ثانوي and I'm very honored to present my project to you today so my project title is the optimization of light absorption in the artificial leaf using metal oxide honeycomb nanostructures with quantum dots now we know with rising energy consumption the issues that come with our dependency on fossil fuels are also rising air pollution excessive emission of greenhouse gases as well as ultimately global warming now one of the main strategies to combat this problem is to opt and revert to a non-carbon emitting and renewable power source and in, uh, influential scientists in this area Daniel Nosser has invented a device called the artificial leaf now the artificial leaf has the potential to store and convert solar energy and produce hydrogen uh, to fuel vehicles or even be a basis for more complex fuels. However, this device is not efficient enough to be dependable. For example, for a kilo of hydrogen uh, from uh, fossil fuels, you can produce it for about one to two dollars. However, a kilo of hydrogen from the artificial leaf uh, is around seven dollars. So why should we invest into a device when we have lots of other uh, alternatives to produce hydrogen? Well, the aim of my project is to actually increase the hydrogen production through increasing light absorption and energy conversion in it through the application of a semiconducting photocatalyst. Now, the semiconducting photocatalyst consists of zinc oxide nanostructures, as you can see in this photo, with quantum dots attached. And in the experiment here, we fabricated the photocatalyst and assessed it before and after applying the quantum dots. And as you can see in the graph, the red line, which represents the zinc oxide nanostructures before the quantum dots attached, uh, this graph actually... Um, represents photoluminescence uh, over a parametric study, so this is over a long amount of time. And then the black line is when uh, quantum dots are attached. And as you can see, there is a, a rise in photoluminescence. Now, if we conclude from this data that quantum dots applied onto zinc oxide nanostructures increases photoluminescence, our hypothesis is that if we combine these two components and apply them as a photocatalyst on the art artificial leaf, it will increase overall photoluminescence, thus aiding energy conversion and overall hydrogen production. And in the next stage of experiments, we will actually apply this photocatalyst and assess it based on photoluminescence and absorption. And thank you so much for listening.